Hey guys, what's going on? Want to try a different setup here for a video? Want to try doing it outside, and we'll see how it turns out. Uh, we're going to do a review on a GEC Northfield trademark. This is a GEC is br branched out into three companies. They've got their GEC, their Northfield, and their Tidyute. And uh, this particular knife you see in front of you is from the Northfield line. It features 1095 carbon steel blades, two clip point blades. The blades are three inches each. The overall length of this, which is a mini muskrat, is three and three fourths inches. Uh, we'll go over the scales, then we'll talk a little more about it. You can see the different color combinations within these scales. The this is called sea glass. Is what the this is acrylic, a material acrylic, and it is a very good material and it holds up really really good. And to be honest, it will hold up better than bone or stag due to capability and edge or if you would drop it, this would be less likely to crack than bone, stag, or any of your natural handle materials. This is the acrylic that G GEC uses it a lot, and a lot of different knives of theirs. I've really been getting into the GEC knives, and I've been carrying this one for about a week, and I wanted to do a review on you and show you about it. Oh, I forgot to show you this. That is like I think that is the really neat shield. I'm not sure exactly what they call that shield, but while we've got it, we'll go ahead and look at the springs. You can see there is no gap in the springs or the liners. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. There's no gapping whatsoever. On and uh, right here, you can see the little indent for your thumbnail. It's on both sides of it. I find that a cool little gesture that they threw in there. This is your mink muskrat is the name of this pattern. But let's just get into looking at the blade here. As I said, these blades are 1095 carbon steel. Carbon is a very good blade still, but it requires a lot of attention to keep it from rusting. I personally like carbon better than stainless due to its edge retention. It can hold an edge far better than stainless in my opinion, but it requires a lot more maintenance to, for rust prevention. And if you don't want a patina, it requires even more. <laughs> but I like the patinas. So I want to show you what it says on the blade here. It says Northfield UNXLD. You can see it's a clip point blade with your nail nick right here you'll see it says Northfield UNL UNXLD made in USA on this side you will see Great Eastern Cutlery that is the main blade it's got a pull on this particular knife the pull on the main blade is about a 6-7 and on the secondary blade the pull is about a 3-4. It's not as high power pull, but it's still got a decent pull. There you can see Northfield UNXLD Main USA. And on this side you'll see the number 668210. It also features brass liners as seen right there. The blades are centered on it. There's that one. It's perfectly centered. And there's that one. It, it looks like it's touching the liner, but it's really not. It just, I swear, it, it really does not rub the liner. It just looks like that. And that is from my own doing. I bent the blade on accident. But these are really nice knives. GEC is a newer company, but they are putting out great production knives. They are doing an excellent job. They're out of Pennsylvania. Titty Pennsylvania. Uh, they just came about, as I've said in other videos, in 2006. 
So they're a newer company, but they are doing a lot of uh, great knives. You'll see dogs walking in front of the camera. That is a stray around here. So if you hear the dogs barking, I'm sorry. The stray just came through. But I just, I'm, I'm loving this knife. I've been EDCing it for about a week now. It is turning out to be a great knife. You can see the seed. That is such a beautiful. You can see the blues and the greens and the orange. It's called sea glass is what GEC calls it. You can see it's got the bolsters, and I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, but it's got the dent dentation bolsters. Every bolster has a dentation, as you can see there. I love bolsters with the dentation. But you can see the pin construction. This knife, it's not heavy at all. It's a great EDC knife. It rides really nice. It carries really nice. You can get a full four finger grip on it, like so. GEC Cutlery's putting out some great products. So I just wanted to share my views and opinions on the GEC Mink Muskrat with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. Post some comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Stay tuned, lots and lots of stuff to come, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.